day to everyone. Another day, another blessings. Another day to reflect about what God has made us. So let's begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for every day. Thank you for giving me life to continue the duty that you're giving me. Lord, help me to realize the lessons that you want me to learn today. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Today, I will be reflecting about Matthew chapter 19, verse 23 to 30. While I was reading it and reflecting, I have four words that come into my mind. And the acronym for it is H-E-L-P, HELP. So let's start. H for humility. Jesus is teaching us to be humble like the camel that we have read. The camel that goes through the eye of the needle. Just simply telling us how the camel go to the ark, which is the entrance of the village where they kneel down and walk through it. As humans, we always tend to forget that we need to be humble, that we need to be low, and we need to like be Jesus, who is a God, who is God, not, not like God, who is God, who from his Godness came to us and become human. E for entitlement. We think, I think, that as the human who help other people, I will get something in return. But no. Jesus is telling us that we're not entitled. We don't need to receive something if we would do good. Because we need to think that we're doing good because we need to and we like to do it. Because we don't need to think about the prices, the giveaways. What would I get? Would, what would we receive in return? Because simply helping someone is telling us that we are humble enough to give back what is given to us. And it's the goodness and the kindness of Jesus and of God. L. Learn. We could see and we could learn from chapter 19 of Matthew verses 27 that Peter asked Jesus, What would we return if we give our life to you? We have surrendered everything. We have left everything behind just for you. It is like us. We're asking always ourselves, what is the good thing if we would leave our things, the material things that we have, the things that we think are the precious one that is more worth than us. But Jesus is simply telling us, that no, never think about that. I would tell you that in the next chapter, he told us that who left behind the things in this world would receive the eternal life. And so, we need to think not for this world th that we would receive, but in the other life. And we need to live the life that he has given us for good things. And next is P, poverty. Jesus is telling us to be poor in material things. We need to be disattached to the things that are dragging us down, which are stopping us to be good. Because we think money is the king of our world. Money that let us buy things, but actually no. Money is perishable, it's consumable could be there and it will be gone in a snap of a finger. All of us tend to waste sometimes a lot of money in our life. And we always like to have more. But no, we need to focus only to Jesus who's telling us never be attached to a material thing because it will just drag you down. And it will stop 
me from growing and learning that things would just pass away and we also will just pass away but the goodness and the kindness that we have done will go on because we have touched others people's life. So that's it. H-E-L-P. Help. We need to help one another for us to be good and to be good Christians. So the thing, the question that I would be giving you, what are the material things that you think are dragging you down? And think, how could you let go of them and try to help one another and to help others to grow in Christianity and being a good Catholic and to choosing Jesus. In the Father of the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, thank you for the things that you help us to realize this day and let us see the good things that you are providing us every day and help us learn to let go of the things that are dragging us down. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for bearing within, with me. So, have a nice day, stay safe, and God bless. Thank you.